Let's learn some redstone. This time, we're going to continue talking about the button. The wooden button can be activated with a bow or a trident, and will stay active until the item despawns or is picked up by a player. The stone button doesn't have this feature though, only the wooden button, but if you use a loyalty trident, it's just like pressing the button. This allows you to build fully functional buttons way up high out of the reach of your average player. If you want to lengthen the amount of time that a button stays active, you can use something like this. This will extend the duration of the redstone signal being sent out by the button. Or if you want to shorten the signal time, you can do something like this. This will turn a button into a one tick button. It's also easy to turn a button into a lever using something like this. A button into a T-flop turns that button into a lever. Buttons will also block the flow of water, so you can use them to trap water in. Last but not least, you can use a button to redirect redstone. A button placed right next to redstone dust will cause that dust to try to go into the button. This can be helpful for controlling what blocks are being powered by the redstone.